Mm. Oh, I messed up. Well, this is... Look, I'm... Why is there shadow everywhere? The shadow of Mordor. I'm in a new spot. It's not my new permanent spot. I mean, it might be. I don't... This is not my new office. This is my house. I'm in my home for the for the day. I have a new office, but it's so hot. It is so hot, and I can't even stand it. Is this really how the video is going to start? I guess it is. Waiting room by Phoebe Bridgers. Ladies of the world, people of the gentlemen. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Okay. Phoebe Bridgers plays with a capo on two. But I, um, we'll learn it without the capo. So then all you fine folks out there without a capo can still play along. Standard tuning. You need to start off with a C chord. If you're not aware, C chord is ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Pointer middle finger second. No. No. Unacceptable. Let's try this again. For the C chord, the top string, you're not even going to play it. In fact, it would be great if you could just get your thumb to come up over the top and just touch the top string and mute it. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top, middle finger, second fret on the third string from the top, then you skip the G string, the third string from the bottom entirely, then your pointer finger plays the first fret on the second string from the bottom. As I said, if you can get your thumb to come up here and touch the top string, that'd be great, but if you can't do it, no big deal, no sweat off my back. I don't think that's an expression, is it? Sweat off... Hair off my back. What is, all these expressions are so weird. I should just stop saying anything. Phoebe Bridgers in the song Waiting Room, what she does is takes her pinky and puts it on the third fret of the very bottom string. It's still just a C chord. It's just not the completely typical normal way to play the C chord. But for this song, it is the, okay. So let me, uh, before we're gonna add all the fancy little, all that stuff. But first, let me just show you the basic strumming pattern people of the world, friends and relatives. Get that very C chord that we just learned, locked and loaded, ready to go. And now I would like you to play along with me. We're gonna go down, down, up, down, up. Two, three, four, down, down, up, down, up. One more time, just for fun. Down, down, up, down, up. Now that we've mastered that, let's learn a couple more strums. We're gonna play down, down, up, down, up. Down, up, go! Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. We're doing so well. We're making such great time. Then after you that little down, up, then you're just gonna strum up, down, up. And that is it. That is the entire strumming pattern. Let's listen to me play it once, and then we'll do it together as a team. One, two, karate chop, and down, down. I'm, well, let me, let me try that one more time. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's, okay, let's slow it down a little bit. Play it with me, but we're gonna slow it down. One, two, three, four, and down, down, hey, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So you notice. As soon as I do that last little up, down, up, I just immediately start over again. Now here's another thing that happens, you guys. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's just, I just am so miserable. I'm just so miserable today. So anyway, let's play that strumming pattern on the C a few times. One, two, three, four. And down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, last time. That basic rhythm continues throughout almost the entire song. An endless, endless cycle of rhythm and power. I'm not wearing shoes. I'm in my home, so I don't have to wear shoes in my home, but it's weirding me out. It doesn't feel right. I think I gotta go put some shoes. <laughs> I gotta put some shoes on, you guys. I'm sorry. Guys, so many great things just happened. Number one, so I went to put my shoes on. I feel much more professional now. It's, it's a very good thing. I'm glad I did that. I also took the opportunity to use the restroom. I'm feeling much more relaxed. I said hi to my dogs who were chilling out in the on the bed, and they were very happy about that, and I felt good about it as well. But also, I was using this stupid pick that I don't like, and I realized I had this other pick in my pocket that I that I do like. So now that all is right with the world, let's look Learn the actual guitar part to the song, you guys. Get your C chord ready to go. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have that same down, down, up, down, up, 
down, up, up, down, up, rhythm going on. But we're gonna add some other little fancy things. First little fancy thing is at the very beginning, instead of strumming the whole chord, see if you can hit just the A string, just the second string from the top. So that takes the place of the first strum. So now we're going boom, plow. So it's just note, strum. It's so great. Then you're gonna strum up, down. But then when you strum up again, get rid of your pinky so the bottom string is open. So get a load of this. We've got note, strum, up, down, oh. Uh. See how I lifted my pinky right there? So we've got note, strum, up, down, open. Play it with me, here we go. And note, strum, up, down, pinky. So good. At this point, you're gonna strum down on the normal C chord, but then immediately strum up with your pinky on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. So that was down on the normal C, up with pinky on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. There, I said the same thing twice. That makes you learn it better. Um, so now from the beginning, and it's getting a little complicated, I know, but let's, I'm gonna do it really slowly. Look at this, one, two, from the top. And note, strum, up, down, lift, down, pinky. Let's do it one more time. Even slower, you say? Sure, I'll do it even slower. One, two, three, four. And note, strum, up, down, lift, down, pinky. I think that was the exact same speed. Um, guys, after that, get rid of your pinky on the C chord. Strum, uh, strum up, down, and then you're gonna strum up again. But when you strum up again, lift up your middle finger and your ring finger like so. It sounds ugly, I know. It's not like a real chord, it's just a little like transitional chord we're doing. So check this out. We've, we have now completed the whole fancy thingamajig for the first chord, the C chord. It goes a little, let me play it like normal speed and then we'll practice it slowly a couple times. A one, two, normal speed. You get into the gist of it, guys? Let's do it slowly together. We're gonna do just that C chord part. We're gonna do it those times in a row. That's Spanish for two, I'm surprised you didn't know that. We're gonna do it slowly together, those times in a row. Spanish for two, surprised you didn't. Oh, it's a day for saying things twice. Here we go, nice and slow. Note, strum, up, down, lift, down, pinky, up, down, and oh. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of hard, right? Are you guys doing okay with it? I you know I was feeling so good right after I put my shoes on, and then I'm starting to slip back into the zone I was in before. Edward, what do you think about this whole situation? Okay, we've made it through one chord. Then we go to an F chord, you guys. Good news, it's not a bar chord. Bad news, it still kind of sucks. So we just did the C thing. Here's what's gonna happen now. You're gonna, you're gonna put, you're gonna keep your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. You are also going to put your pinky back down onto the third fret of the bottom string. In case you are interested, that actually makes this into an F add nine chord. It is no longer a normal F, it is now an F add nine. You will get bonus points if you do the following. If you take your thumb, I know, as soon as I say take your thumb, you guys are like, oh, here we go, this is gonna suck. Take your thumb, bring it up over the top, push on the top string on the first fret with your thumb. That's what they do in the recording and you get this nice low F bass note. But here, here's what I'm gonna tell you. If you can do that, that would be great. If you cannot do that, see if you can just get your thumb to touch the top string and mute it. That will be still pretty good. You still get partial credit. If you're like, no, my thumb is not long enough. First of all, I, I bet you it is. I bet you it is if you just relax. See how, re see how relaxed I am all the time? That's why I'm able to do such crazy things with my thumb, because I'm so relaxed. Um, but if you really are like, Stuart, I don't want to use my thumb, okay? Then here's what you have to do. You just have to be very careful with your pick over here. 
not to play the top string. If you strum the open top string for this F chord, it's gonna ruin everything. It's gonna be a terrible disaster. We've got our F chord, our F, what was it? That's right, F add nine with your thumb, eh, hopefully. We're gonna do our same strumming we were doing before. That was our down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, let's just do that one. One, two, F chord, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. But here's a little fancy thing we wanna do for the F chord. We wanna add a little hammer on with the middle finger. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go play, down, up, down. But then when you strum up right here, you're gonna lift up your middle finger and strum the chord without your middle finger. So that goes like this. It goes down, down, up, down, lift. You see what just happened there? Okay, do it with me. One. And two, here we go. And down, down, up, down, lift. Fantastic, but we're not done. Immediately after that strum without the middle finger, you're gonna hammer your middle finger back down onto the second fret of the third string from the bottom, right where it was before. So that goes like, you hear that little hammer on in there? It doesn't even need to be loud. If it's quiet, if you're like, Uncle Seward, I can barely even hear the hammer on. That, that's okay, just just do it. It still will add some of the effect in there. And as you do it more and more and you get used to that, like mm, you're just hitting the string with your middle finger, it'll get louder and louder, I promise. Unless you're doing it wrong and then it will probably won't get any better. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down. Should we do that again? One, two, here we go. And down, down, up, down, uh -huh. At this point in time, we're gonna strum down again on the chord, then you're gonna strum up again, but once again, you're gonna get rid of your middle finger and then hammer it on, and then you're gonna strum up, down, up on this very same chord. That was a lot of stuff. Look, really, really slowly, it goes like this. Down, down. Up, down, hammer, down, hammer, up, down, up. Wow. Wow. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, hammer, down, hammer, up, down, up. One more time, friends. Down, down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, hammer, up, down. Just practice that 10,000 times. You'll have it no problem. It's gonna be a piece of pie. I feel like when you say friends, like the way I said friends, one more time, friends, I feel like that's a very aggressive way of saying friends. Now, if I were to say, if I were to say, I love, I love being friends with you. That's like nice. But if I go, play with me, friend, that's like, whoa. Guys, how do you think this video is going? I don't, I'm, there have been some major changes in my life and and it's I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to it. Believe it or not, we've actually made it through the hardest part of the song. Like I know we've we've literally only done two chords, but we kind of get to coast the rest of the way through. So what we do right after that crazy F thing we just did, it wasn't that crazy, you're crazy. After we do that F thing, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to an A minor chord, you guys. The A minor chord is like this. Top string you don't use. You can mute it with your thumb, that'd be great. Second string from the top is open. Then middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. But then we're actually gonna make it into an A minor seven chord. And that means you take your pinky and you put it onto the third fret of the bottom string. Now guys, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Uncle Stewart, why is why is this called an A minor seven chord? Why isn't it called an A minor pinky chord? Well, let me tell you, you ready? This is only kind of gonna help you. This isn't like, I'm not expecting you to know what I'm talking about, but you go, oh, that, okay, that sort of makes sense. If I play what is called the A minor scale, if I go like this, um, and if I count the notes in that scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is the seventh note of the scale, A minor chord. You add that seventh note of the scale and that's why it's an A minor seven chord, sort of. I mean, that is true, but there's also some other 
On this A minor seven chord, we're gonna do the exact same strumming and the exact same pinky movements, pinky movements that we did with the C chord at the beginning. So check this out, we're going second string from the top, then you strum down, then you strum up, down, up without the pinky, then you strum down and then up with the pinky on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. Then you get rid of your pinky and strum up, down, then you lift up your middle finger and your ring finger. Guys, that was literally the exact same thing we did on the C chord. On the C chord, we went like this. And then on the A minor chord, we went like this. You see what I mean by they're the same thing? Um, okay. Uh, at this point, what you're gonna, let's just finish up this whole first stupid thing. Then you're gonna go to an E minor chord, okay? E minor is middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top, but because Phoebe Bridgers likes to put special notes in her chords in this song, you're also gonna take your pinky and put it on the third fret of the bottom string. Still just an E minor chord, it's not an E minor seven because this is not the seventh note of the E minor scale, this was only the seventh note of the A minor scale, friend. So, at this, uh, uh, why do I say at this point? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have a sip of coffee, I'm gonna relax. Coffee makes you relax, right? No, I have anything fun to show you. I have this pad that heats up. I could put it on like my neck if my neck hurt. So that's pretty cool. What else do I have over here? I don't know. I guess I don't really have that much. I mean, there's cool stuff. For, I have, I... Okay, okay, hang on, hang, hang, hang on. This is the Sword of Narsal from Lord of the Rings before it was broken by Sauron. Um, this is so this was immediately before a sealed door picked it up and severed Sauron's finger with the ring you know i mean just it's my sword actually i have another i have another one do you want to see it this is my other one this is strider's sword and i know strider ends up with the reforged narsal but this is the sword that he uses before that before he reclaims the 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 crown or whatever Guys, I'm so glad we got to have this sleepover and I could show you all the cool stuff in my house. Okay, I think we were on the E minor with the pinky on the third fret of the bottom string. On this chord, you're just gonna strum down, down, up, down, up. Then you're gonna switch to a G chord. The way that we're gonna do it for this song is you're gonna take your ring finger, move it up to the third fret on the top string, but the other two fingers remain the same. So that means ring finger, third fret on the top, middle finger stays on the second fret of the second string from the top. Pinky stays on the third fret of the bottom string, and we just go down, down, up, down, up. So on the E minor and the G, we're only playing those chords for half as long as we play the other chords. So let's just practice just that little part. We're just gonna go E minor, up, down, then G, down, up, down, up. One, two, here we go. E minor, up, down, up, G, down, up, down, up. Do we dare play the entire thing all the way through? One, uh, two, a uh, nice and slow from the sea. Down, down, up, down, open, pinky. Go! I forgot. Pretty hard, right? I think it's a tough time. Um, there's more to the song. I feel like I could probably just stop the video here and no one would even notice. I feel like there's some I feel like there's some people who have never watched any of my videos before and they just like Phoebe Bridgers and they're like, why is this happening? Let's do the same thing one more time. One, uh, two, a uh, nice and slow, I'm slowing it down and down, down, up, down, up. Up, down, and F, O, hammer, hammer, A minor, open, pinky, E minor, G. We've just learned the first half of the introduction to the song, but I have good news. The second half is almost exactly the same. Here's the only thing that changes in the second half 
of the intro is you swap the A minor chord and the C chord. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, the first time we did C and then F, then A minor, and then we did E minor G. The second time through, it goes A minor, does all the same stuff. Then it goes to F. Then it goes to C and does all the same stuff. Then it goes to the E minor and into the G. I did the G a different way. I'm sorry, I meant to do that. Uh, did that make sense? So basically the introduction goes C, F, A minor, E minor, G. And then it goes A minor, F, C, E minor, G. I tried to make it Tried to just lay it all out for you, and instead I had a um, tiny little heart attack because I couldn't remember all the things I was trying to do. Let's just do this. Let's play the intro all the way through, and then and then we'll the rest of the song is gonna be so quick. The whole intro all the way through, nice and slow. One, no, oh, oh, one more, one more thing I want to say about the intro. Um, when she first starts the song, instead of starting right on that beat one down strum, she actually does a quick little strum up and then starts it. So she strums up on the C chord and then starts the pattern. So it goes like three, four, up, down. Does that make sense? Okay, let's do it. One, a two, a nice and slow. Here we go. And one. with the pinky to G, then A minor, do all the fancy stuff, open, pinky, oh, I keep forgetting the F, then C, then E minor with the pinky, then G. Are you ready for the best news you've ever heard in your entire life? The verse is literally exactly the same as the intro. So you are like, oh my goodness, we've only learned the intro. No, you've learned the intro and the verse. But you know what you can do, especially if you're gonna like sing along when you play? You don't have to do all the fancy stuff every time. Oh, oh dear. So if you, if you don't wanna do all this fancy stuff when you're singing, you can just strum C. Then F, then A minor, then E minor, then G. Much simpler, but it also doesn't quite pack the same charming punch. Charming punch in supermarkets. Now that's my new punchline. It's called charming punch. Do you think that's the worst joke I've ever made? I think it's up there. I think it's top three worst jokes I've ever made in my entire life. Charming punch. I'm gonna quit playing guitar. And just like that, in no time at all, we've made it to the chorus of the song. Uh, the chorus is much simpler, guys. We're gonna start off with that same F chord we were using before. So just as a quick reminder, that was gonna be ring finger, third fret, third string string from the top, middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, pinky, third fret on the bottom string, so it's actually an F add nine chord, that is correct, and then I would love it if you would get your thumb up over the top to play the top string on the first fret, or to mute it, you're just gonna strum on this chord, down, down, up, down, up, one, two, here we go, down, down, up, down, up, great. Then we're gonna switch to a C chord. So all you have to do is you just take your middle finger and your ring finger and you move them up one string. So now ring fingers on the third fret of the second string from the top, middle fingers on the second fret of the third string from the top. So we've got F, up, down, then C. A little guitar tip, not just for this song, but for every song, Under the Moon, um, on the last strum up of the F chord, Lift up your middle finger and ring finger so they're ready to be on the C chord right after the right after that. I'm slurring all my words today. What a what a what a grand morning this is. So we've got down, down, up, down, lift, down, down, 
up, down. You see that? Okay, so we're gonna do the F, then we're gonna go to the C, then we're gonna go to the G. So the G is where you just move those same two fingers up to the top two strings, ring finger three on the top, middle finger two on the second string for the top. Get rid of your pointer finger for this one though, okay? Then we're gonna go right back to the F, exactly the same as we did it before. So that was F, then C, then G, then back to F. Would you be so kind as to play it with me? One, two, here we go. And F, then C, then G, then back to F. Oh, so good. Then guys, what you're gonna do then is you're gonna stay on F again. You're gonna do F one more time, F, then go to C again. Then you're gonna go to a G sus. So here's how you do G sus. You take your middle finger and your ring finger, you move them up to the top string, just like we did for the normal G, but don't get rid of your pointer finger. Just leave it there. And then we've got down, down, up, down, up. Then get rid of your pointer finger to go back to a regular G. That is the first half of the chorus. Let's play that whole first half of the chorus together. One, and two, start with F and F, two, three, four, then C, two, three, four, then normal G, then back to F, F chord, two, three, stay there, F again, two, three, and four, and C, two, then G, sus, don't move your pointer finger, then move your pointer finger. Now before we learn the second half of the chorus, guys, I would like to tell you about one little extra fancy thing that Miss Phoebe Bridgers does in this song. When she goes to the C chord, instead of just playing the regular C chord in the chorus, she starts off without the middle finger and then does a little hammer on with the middle finger. So it goes like F. Oh, you couldn't hear that very well. Let me try, let me try that one more time. I can do better. Look, one, two, here we go. F. Do you hear that? So all I did there is after the F chord, I moved my ring finger up, but I did not actually push down with my middle finger yet. I strummed the chord, and then I immediately hammered on my middle finger to that second fret. This is like optional. It sounds great, but you don't have to do it. Okay, there. Second half of the chorus, wait, if I go like this, yeah, you can hear that thing shaking, that's annoying. Do you know what that sound is? What is, what is this? Second half of the chorus, not too bad, it goes like this. We just go F to C, then back to F, then back to C, then we go to the G sus again. Do you remember the G sus, you guys? With the pointer finger on the first fret of the second and bottom string? We're gonna do that one twice. Then get rid of your pointer finger to go to regular G. So that second half was F to C, F to C, G sus, G sus, normal G, normal G. Let's play the whole chorus all the way through. Starts with the F. I'll yell out the chords as we go so you can get it all under your hood. One, and two, and three, and four. And F, then C, then normal G, then back to F. Stay on F, F again. Two, three, then C, then to G sus. Oh, that's a close one. Then normal G, and then to F, F, then C is next, C, back to F, then back to C, then G sus, don't move your pointer finger, stay there, G sus again, then get rid of your pointer, normal G. We have now completed the verse, and the chorus to Waiting Room by Phoebe Bridgers. We are so close to being done. Let me show you this little like interlude right after the chorus. The lead guitar, the electric guitar comes in and goes. Now while 
that's happening. The acoustic guitar is actually just playing the introduction again, but I kind of like playing this little lead part, even if I'm just playing it all by my lonesome self. I like playing this little lead part. So here's what you do. You get your C chord ready to go. You don't need your pinky. We just need the normal C chord. Okay, so that was ring finger, third fret, second string from the top, middle finger, second fret, third from the top, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. Play second string from the top all by itself. Then play the second string from the bottom all by itself. So we have. Then get rid of your pointer finger and play the second string from the bottom open. Then you wait a second. So it's. Then keep this shape over here, play the third string from the bottom open, and then play the third string from the top, which has your middle finger on the second fret here. So that was. I would do that, I don't know, you could do it, do they do it four times? I think they do it four times. I don't know. I might just do it two and then um who cares? Then I'm gonna then what they do is they just go into the verse again. They do the second verse, same as the first verse. And then they go into the second chorus. Same as the first chorus, you guys. We just do the verse and the chorus again. And then we go into the outro, the ending. The ending goes on for a while. This is when she's singing something is it's for the better. She knows it's she knows it's for the better. I really I feel like I feel like my current situation is like I need to go like, you know what? I know, I know this is for the better. I'm gonna be stronger. I'm gonna be stronger, wiser, faster. What is that it's song by Kanye West? It's not by him, it's by, I mean, the other guys, who are the people? Was that um the All Around the World guys? Oh crap, how do I not remember their names? What was the name of the band with the robots in it? Better, faster, stronger, wiser, smaller, bigger. So the ending to the song. The ending of the song, we're just gonna go like this. Actually, I don't remember it. I need to listen to it. Guys, the ending is so easy. You just play the same chords as the intro, but instead of doing all the fancy stuff, you just strum one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just strum down eight times on each chord. So you just go like this. You go C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A minor, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, then A minor, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do that, right? And, and they do that so many times and they fade out. So when you end the song, because it's kind of hard to fade out in real life, so when you end the song, I recommend you either end it with one final strum of C, or end it if you want to be a little, if you want it to be a little moodier, if you want to be like, no, maybe it's, maybe is it for the better? I don't know. You could end it with an A minor. It's a little, a little darker sounding. Um, let's just play that ending one time together. One, and two, and three, and four, and C, and it's for the better. Oh, and it's for the better. Bet it, bop, bop, go, bop, and it's for the bet a, a, a minor and it bang go down bang gang yo f two three four five six seven eight then c two three four five six seven eight then g two what am i gonna end it on i'm gonna end on an a minor a minor so i'm not so sure about this whole this whole thing this whole thing called life guys not sure not so sure about it at the moment that's, that sounded dark. It doesn't mean, I wasn't trying to make it that dark. I just meant, I just meant I'm in a, I'm in a weird mood is all I'm trying to say. You got a problem with that? You got a problem with that? This, I'm not going to play through the whole song. I've already spent like three hours just playing all the parts. And that's how you play Waiting Room by Phoebe Bridgers. My name is Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Hi, like and subscribe.